Good day, YouTube. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. I was approached by Yochi from TID Radio, and he wanted me to show you guys their new product to program your Baofeng radio. Stay tuned. Before I start out the review, I'm going to offer you a 20% coupon code on Amazon. Please click on the description below. I'll provide you the coupon code and i also provide you the link so you can purchase this product from TID Radio, model number BL1. Now on to the review. So this is what's inside. You get the uh, user's manual and you get a USB charger power cord and the adapter itself. The radio that I'll be using is the Baofeng F8HP and we're using the Bluetooth programmer from TID Radio model number BL1. You have a port on the side for the USB charge the top is your on and off button and on this side here this is where you plug in your mic and speaker onto the radio itself. Alright we got our programmer plugged in. This red LED indicates that the Bluetooth programmer is being charged. That blue LED, that's indicating that the Bluetooth programmer is turned on. And when you see that blue LED is flashing, that means it's transferring data between the Bluetooth adapter and your mobile phone. So what you need to do first, we need to open up the side ports and then you're going to insert the programmer this portion of the video, I'm going to show you the place where you download the application on your mobile phone. In my case, I'm using an Android, so I, got, I have to go to the Play Store. In the search feature, you type in OD Master, O-D-M-A-S-T-E-R, OD Master, and then you do an install from the company of TID Radio. Once you successfully complete the installation, you need to register for an account and log in. Okay, it's completed download. Let's open the application. Okay, here to agree with the third party agreement. And you need to agree to that in order to use the following functions. Local permissions are needed to be applied. So just agree. And here we need to register. I haven't registered yet so I will register. And they prefer you to register by email. So what you need to do is you're going to type your email, your password twice, and then at the bottom you're going to click register. We're going to complete the registration by sliding this puzzle piece on top of the puzzle. And then you successfully registered. To answer the following questions. Your sex and your date of birth and your nickname. Once you successfully put in your date of birth, push try it now. And it's your prerogative to to select these um, added channels and confirm. In this portion of the video, I'm going to show you how to read the settings and frequencies from your radio and transfer that to your mobile phone. I have my radio here. First thing you want to do is you want to connect the Bluetooth adapter to the side port. That's your mic and speaker. 
make sure it's nice and firm turn on your radio turn on the Bluetooth the Bluetooth you'll see a blue LED light now go to your mobile phone that we downloaded the file program or application called the OD master so we're going to turn on the OD master app we're going to connect to the Bluetooth it's going to automatically populate if you have connectivity it's called a TID radio kit toggle that on select your model radio I have a Beofang F8 so that means I gotta scroll more up there's F8 I want to read the radio so you'll see the progress you'll see the Bluetooth adapter it's flashing blue it's transferring data and also on the radio itself it's flashing you can see the progress there and there you have it it's fully uploaded to my mobile phone you can make changes on here and, and also save it when you save it it saves it to the cloud and it's going to be able for you to access it using the web browser such as here look at my desktop you see the web.odmaster.net that's the file that um, I just saved uh, to refresh it you just push reset and it refreshes the file that's saved alright now back to this all right, so the frequency, I got 146.52. That's a simplex frequency here. And the label is called two meter call. So that's channel zero. And if you look on the radio, it says two meter call on channel zero. So now I'm going to save this file and then we're going to modify it and change the frequency and the label and I'm going to demonstrate that this thing really works so let's save the file and I'm going to change the file name I'm going to call it my call sign N4 BFR and today's date let's say today's the 19th 19 19 May 2022 confirm so it's being saved now and all to also it's being saved to the cloud let's look at my desktop I'm going to reset oh, they should change the word to say refresh look at that N4 VFR today's 19 May 2022 we're going to update this video <laughs> we're going to update the files or the channels and I'm going to change channel 0 to a frequency of 162.525 tab and I want to change the name to say NOAA weather NOAA space WX okay let's save that to the same file name save save it successful there it is the next step is we're going to now refresh the mobile phone and to see that it's on the list so take a look
we go to the receive transmit list here at the bottom of your phone press that there you will see my saved file and today's date and any other previous files that was saved online so it's saved in the cloud and it automatically transfer your your save files between your mobile phone and your web OD master so we're going to click on that there's the frequency 162.525 and I changed the name to NOAA weather radio it's so easy to write make sure that your radio is turned on it says two meter call and the Bluetooth is turned on we're going to write you see the progress it's currently writing it says upload complete confirm we're going to confirm and you see that it has changed my channel zero to no weather so turn off the Bluetooth disconnect it That's the NOAA weather radio. Here's a neat feature that TID radio has. It's the repeater list. When you look at the bottom left, you'll see a repeater list. So press on repeater list. It's going to utilize your GPS location your data from your mobile phone and show you the repeaters the closest repeater first and if you want to do an update all you have to do is swipe it down and it refreshes here's one it's whiskey bravo niner uniform uniform sierra and in order to import that you push import i wanted to go to channel zero down at the bottom you have the import and you see that currently it's in channel zero but it hasn't been saved yet to the radio until you write it channel zero 442.7 and channel zero on the radio it still says NOAA weather radio we're going to write All right, we have a data failure. If you get a data failure, you need to make sure that you are connected to the Bluetooth and that you don't have the power USB charge connected to the Bluetooth adapter and make sure that the Bluetooth adapter is fitting properly. So I'm going to turn off the Bluetooth adapter. I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to reconnect it back in nice and snug. Turn it back on. and then let's try to make sure I want to back up make sure that we're connected so we have to do this over again we need to connect that all right uh, BFF8 I want to go to program settings there's that repeater frequency 442.7 and the call sign whiskey bravo niner uniform uniform sierra right so you might get that error now you see it's programming the Bluetooth adapter is working the radio is flashing and also the progress it's uh, transferring data upload is confirmed we're going to push on confirm okay let's set my mobile phone aside turn off the Bluetooth adapter take it off and you see now there's the repeater frequency I will key up
This is November for Victor Foxtrot Romeo and for VFR. Oh, there you have it. A nice feature from TID Radio utilizing the repeater list and importing the frequencies, the identified the call sign to your radio pretty quick. Some of the advantages of using the TID radio wireless Bluetooth programmer. There are no drivers to download and it supports many handheld radios. You can program your radio anywhere and anytime just with your mobile telephone or you can utilize a laptop. You can download your repeater list from your computer or your phone and import that onto your radio. Though their app has some defects I can tell you this is a good choice. If you're out on the field outdoors and you need to program your radio, this is a, a simple and easy viable uh, application to use to program and to make it happen. Those folks at TID Radios, they're working hard to improve their products. As far as I know, they're always updating their application and their software. And if you happen to find a bug, uh, leave them a feedback. They're, they're willing to help you out and also to make it better for, for everyone else that uses their product. Well guys, thank you for watching my videos on the TID Radio Bluetooth Wireless Programming. I hope you enjoyed it and learned th something from that. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. If you haven't subscribed to my videos, please consider to subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe.